This is episode 14 of Survival Medicine, and today we're going to do a book review. This book is uh, entitled Where There Is No Doctor, and this was written by a guy by the name of uh, David Werner. Um, he was doing some missionary work in Mexico in some um, remote mountainous areas of Mexico, and he realized he wasn't going to be able to address the spiritual needs of people unless he also dealt with some of the physical needs. Now, he was not trained medically, and so a lot of this is self-taught and self-assembled. Uh, and he developed this book, uh, which is a fantastic resource. So if you're going to be serious about providing medical care under remote or austere environments, you don't have any training, you really need to invest some time and effort getting up to speed and, and learning some uh, essential pieces. I think this is a great first step. Now, this book is a little geared towards some tropical medicine, some things you're not going to see necessarily in the United States. But if you go anywhere outside of our borders uh, to third world countries or developing nations, uh, all of this will be very applicable. Now, you can get this book from Barnes & Noble or Amazon, or you can go to the website that uh, uh, is sort of the home base for this book, uh, this Hesperian, and you can just Google that and find it on the web. Now, the other thing you can do is uh, the authors made this book completely free. You can download the whole thing from a PDF, uh, as a PDF. You can stick it on a thumb drive and carry it with you. I uh, have one in my little survival tin. <clears throat> I take it with me pretty much wherever I go or travel. Um, and it's a great resource. So there's no excuse if you can't afford to buy the book, which is pretty cheap uh, to begin with. You can download the free PDF and start reading it. Now it covers a lot of different topics. Uh, some things uh, to point out is you know how to examine the sick patient and how to care for the sick patient, um, the right and wrong way to use medications, um, and then it's got a whole section in the back uh, with medications and uh, the dosages and the side effects. Uh, the chapters are arranged in very easy to read uh, font with uh, simple pictures, uh, pictures you can show to other patients, and there's a lot of really good resources. Uh, there's information on how to close wounds, how to provide first aid, how to immobilize uh, cervical spines. Uh, and again, there's some things that we're not going to see a lot of, um, certain uh, parasites or worm infections or things like that, um, unless you leave the borders of the United States, in which case it's very common and very prevalent. Uh, here's an example of the green pages in the back. Uh, this is penicillin V. Uh, again, it tells you um, how the medication comes in terms of what strength, um, uh, how to dose it, uh, what are the side effects, what do you use it for, it cross-references with other pages within the book. So again, a very good introductory resource that's easy to read uh, and easy to obtain. I buy several copies of this book every year. Uh, I take them with me when we go uh, out of country and I hand them out to uh, the people I'm working with and around, and just leave it behind. It's a great, great resource, and I highly recommend you take a look at it. Again, thanks for, uh, for all the input and comments. I've had uh, just an amazing uh, amount of feedback from everybody that I, I really appreciate. Uh, please keep the questions and comments coming. Uh, I'm starting to get a list of things that I want to hit as topics. Uh, so, again, thank you, everybody, for your input, and th thanks for watching these videos.